I really enjoy customizing my pickleball pedal. So when I discovered this website called My Pedal, uh, P-A-D-L, which offer customizable uh, pickleball handle bands or ring, I have to try it out. As you can see, basically, you can just put in what you want to say in the front and the back. Uh, you can pick different fonts. Now, you notice that here the white on yellow doesn't show up very well. So I'm going to see if I can change the color to something that makes it pop a little bit more. There you go. So it looks pretty good, right? And in the back, you can put something else. Um, there is a character limit, which I keep hitting. I want to say Pickle Boy is live, but I cannot do it. So that is the maximum length and different fonts. Let me show you. It's a little slow to uh, render, but there's outline font. There is a kind of handwriting kind of font. And this one's kind of cool. And then another kind of uh, scribble font. So I ended up ordering um, four of these because while the standard price, as you can see, is $12 per, if you order four, they go down to $6 per. So basically, Jay tried to get you to buy multiple, which, which makes sense anyway, right? You want more than one. So I ordered four of them, and uh, there you go. So let's take a look at these pedal rings or pedal bands. Um, so I ordered four because you get a discount. And uh, four or more, it's $6 each. So there's four of them. You can see pretty nice colors. And first look at it, this is pretty good. Right. However, if you look very closely, and I'm going to see if I can change the magnifying here. If you look closely, the print quality is really not great. So some are better, but still, and I think one of the worst ones that I have is this one, right? So even the logo is printed pretty badly. So I'm not completely happy with this. I'm going to reach out to the vendor and see if they can do something about it. But let's put one onto a pedal to see what it looks like. So this is the pedal. Uh, you saw the video about how I changed the grip. But let's put this thing on. So it is stretchy. And this is kind of nice, I guess, because you want it to be tight. So I've never done this before, so literally you're watching me doing this for the very first time. And of course, my grip is sticky, which makes this even harder to do. So I'm just going to force this down. So when we get to the end, it's going to be good. Let's try this again. Almost there. There we go. This side. So one thing, of course, is with all this rolling and twisting, it's probably going to hurt the printing more. Let's see if I can get this part straight here. So I think I want this higher because otherwise I'm touching it all the time. So quick follow up, uh, literally this is five minutes later. I pull and pry and I got the band way more up near the pedal top 
and it looks a little bit better because it's also clearing from where I gripped the, um, the pedal. So you can see, right, so getting this part up there, it's still a little bit off, and, um, but it's better. So definitely have this all the way up or as up as you can. There we go. So it is a good idea to be able to label, if you like, your pedal. But as I said, the print quality, again, is not great. So let's see what they have to say if I contact them via the website.